Hello, I'm David. Hi, I'm Julie. Now we're going to do a review of Lord of the Rings Adventure Boat Game by Ravensburger. This is for ages 10 and up, one to four players, takes about 20 minutes per chapter. And there are eight chapters which cover all three movies. Now this is a cooperative game with some hand management, deck building, and it's kind of a puzzle game. So we're going to give you the overview first, then we'll give our rating, our reasons, and then I'm going to compare it at the end of the video to the previous two editions, Princess Bride and Wizard of Oz. So when you open up the book, you open up to the first chapter and it tells you here how to set it up and what you have to do to win. You have to complete these challenges and how you can use the one ring to uh, the special ability. Now, normally these are wild cards. You're going to have each character or each player will start out with four of these and you're going to use these uh, to complete challenges. For instance, you need an insight here. You need an insight and two journeys. You need a courage and two warfare cards to complete this task. And it follows the first part of the movie where Frodo finds out about the ring. You have to avoid the Black Riders as the hobbits uh, have to get to the Prancing Pony to find Aragon and then get to the weather top uh, before you go on to the next chapter. Now you lose if the plot deck runs out and there's 15 of these cards and these numbers correspond to what to the chapter. So you'll see there's a plot deck here for each of the eight chapters. So this tells you Every turn, a player will draw one of these, and it will tell you what happens. For instance, the Black Riders remove, and in this particular chapter, you cannot a Hobbit cannot move through a Black Rider, and if a Black Rider moves onto their space, they go into the hiding spot, and if there's ever two Hobbits in the hiding spot, you lose the chapter. Uh, here, you'll see it's different than other editions of the adventure book game. You have a corruption track with the ring, and so every time you use a ring. You're going to go up on corruption. So this is going to discourage you from using this as a wild card or its special ability described here. And if you get to the 3, the 6, the 9, or the 12, you're going to draw a Sauron card, which is not good. It's going to slow you down. And if the corruption tracker gets to the end here, you lose the game. So this is going to continue from chapter to chapter. You will reset the chapters. And so this will reset, and you'll go on to... Uh, the Fellowship is forged, and that's where Gimli and Legolas will come in. And this is where the counters you'll use for the other chapters. Here you have the, the Mines of Moria. And so this covers the first movie right here. And then there's two more chapters for each of the next two movies. And so in terms of how you play, each, each player will be able to move a single character, zero, one, or two spaces, or two characters, one space each. So then you can use your storytelling cards you can discard them to move further, complete challenges, play special cards, trade one card with another player, and then you'll draw two cards from the story deck, and you'll draw one of those plot cards here. And then you'll discard if you have more than six cards. Now, what are the special cards? Well, this is the de deck building aspect. When you go through chapters, you'll add these to your story deck, and they will go with you from chapter to chapter. And these are special things that you can use so this is the, kind of the deck building part. So that is a quick overview. Now we're going to give our rating here. Let's take a look at how we rated this. And we both said, <laughs> if I can get to it, ah, seven, seven. usually willing to play. Mm -hmm. Now let's give our reasons first seven. as to why we rated this a seven on the BGG scale. What did you say? Well, for me... It's a thema thematically engrossing cooperative, cooperative game. game that follows all three movies. So that is definitely feel like you're playing the movie. In fact, we're rewatching the movies now because of this. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a, the corruption track and one and ring cards adds tension and replayability. So you, when I talk about the other two adventure book games, I actually. Don't, would like to play the earlier chapters again because of this corruption track. And it adds more strategy to it because you're trying to avoid playing these. And it's just really cool that they added that in there. And then it has captivating art. The other adventure book games have great art too, but there's something about this, just the way that it's drawn, it just seems more, draws you in a little bit more, it seems like to me, than the other ones. Uh, average component quality. The miniatures are, they're not the highest quality. 
They're kind of they're not as bad as Princess Bride, but they don't seem as good as the Wizard of Oz, Wizard of Oz ones. Yeah. They don't seem as detailed. So they, they're kind of in between <laughs> Wizard of Oz and the Princess Bride. The cards are average cardstock. They're not the best, but they're not the worst. The counters are just thick enough. And then the chapter directions for can be difficult for for less experienced readers because what you got to do, you got to read the main rules. You got to check the FAQ here, read the rules here, read the rules here, and then that's for each chapter. So when you turn it when you turn it again, now you got to read this again and understand what's going on. Read the FAQ, and then of course remember any of the setup stuff that's here. So it can be difficult for a less experienced player. So Julie, what do you have to say? Well, I think the components are quality. I, I liked them. Um, and it's a nice cooperative game that is fun and it does suck you in. It did make me want to watch the movies again because honestly, I watched them years ago, but I wasn't like, ooh, you know, I gotta see this again. I thought the playing time was decent with just the two players. I think it went very smoothly. It didn't last, you know, forever. I thought it was easy to learn and play. Granted, I don't read the rules. I just get down and play. So it was easy for me to pick up what David was wanting me to do and play it. And I think if you're a big fan of the Lord of the Rings movies, it's a. I think it's a must for you to have this game. I think it'll just make you appreciate why you like the movies so much, and it'll probably make you want to watch them again. Well, you're not a big Lord of the Rings fan, and now you've you've wanted to rewatch them again. Yeah. So here I'm showing the other chapters, which we haven't gotten to yet. No. We now, just started the Two Towers? Yeah, the, we started the Two Towers two movie. Towers, now let's yeah. compare it to the other editions here. Okay. Now the Princess Bride, we haven't done a review or how to play mm -hmm. of this. This is the one that we actually stopped playing. It seemed to get very difficult. It's a similar, same format, mm -hmm. but it, it played so much like a solo game compared to the other two. Didn't seem as much two-player interaction. Now, we may have to revisit this again, mm -hmm. but we've actually attempted to try to win it twice. It seems harder with two players. Maybe there was something wrong we're doing, but I don't think so. Yeah. Uh, it follows the movie just like the other one. So we don't like, this is the one we like the least. Yes. Wizard of Oz, we completed all the way, but we only rated it a six because we don't, see ourselves playing it again for a long time unless there's a grandchild or someone in our family that wants to play it so we don't mind owning it but we're less likely to play it mm -hmm. down the road whereas lord of the rings because of the corruption track i can see playing this over and over again because of that that rule yeah so there you go that is our review of lord of the rings thanks for watching thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video all right bye bye, bye.